capture, start recording. This is Corey here for another. Never mind. I'll just. I'll stop. I guess let's go for another working. Hey guys, welcome to another fourth, welcome to another video. This time I'm gonna be doing War Thunder while I talk, so that way I could just vent out some of my frustration. I mean, still, today I'll be playing War Thunder, as you can see here, as you can see in this video, and. There is, and sometimes I just, instead of just, just talking and stuff, I do have gaming, I, I do play video games a lot at some point in time. So, let's get right to the game, game and see what I can, and see what, how much I can do. Now, I'm going to be chatting, now, I actually don't, now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because, well, two main reasons. One, I want to take a moment and apologize to Montez for, for shit I've done, like, the betrayal, the backstab, the, the politics, etc, etc. Right now, I just... I was manipulated by Lynn, realizing until I realized how much of an asshole she's being, and that she needs to stop, because if Lynn doesn't stop, Copa will shut her down, the trolls will, the trolls will just continue, Lynn is beating a dead horse, and, and I'm actually staring down a barrel of a gun, well, technically, right now, I just, Feel like I picked the wrong side and messed with the wrong person, people. Right now, as I'm playing this game, you might realize that I do want to take out my anger on some AI. Anyways. So, according to what Christine told me, I just realized. I felt very, very stupid and just wanted the entire dead, the entire civil war to die off. And sometimes I just don't feel like it today. I just don't. Most likely. Most likely I just. Well. Let's just say I just don't want to, and just want to live a peaceful... I just want to be at peace. And me getting involved is the last draw, is the last thing I needed. I could have told her, why don't we leave Montez alone? I tried telling her that many times to leave Montez be, but she won't, but she won't actually do it. And right now, I just don't feel like it, so I decided to, to feel like it by actually playing this game.
right now, I'm actually getting, you know, you know everyone knows how it is. You run out. Anyways, I do, I do really want, and sometimes I just want to be a great, a great person, but sometimes it, things just don't, things are not as used, as well as they, as it seems. Now I'm actually trying to play the right way. No 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 Oh no 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 Oh no Anyways The reason why I just don't feel like exposing Montez anymore is because Montez is because I realize it's not worth it. It's not worth my time. I should just focus on my own video games. I should just focus on playing video games rather than just rather than just focusing on what Lynn's popping on, what Lynn's doing, and and what I, I'm really want to do. I mean, it's someone else's opinion, and I could respect Christine's opinion in the in the best manner. But realizing what I've done, I do not want to discuss it. I mean, some of us really do, but uh, others just don't. So, yeah. In other cases, I'm trying to avoid drama as much as I can. Try not to get involved. And, and regardless, I do want to actually do something about it. But, I just don't know the appropriate way. Sometimes I just need a teacher. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And, I'm actually... I'm actually wishing I could actually have some... Something to do. Well, this is, this is all I got. Let's see how you can turn. Yeah, you can't even touch me. You can't touch me. <laughs> and right now, I'm actually doing a very good job. Good game play. I'm actually getting good right now and and ooh didn't make it however some people just want to just you know normally when I when I talk about stuff it normally had to do with rage sometimes I don't I just but instead I have plenty of mercy when it comes to certain people. However, some people are just stereotypical. That's something I do not approve of. And when I realized that I'm on when I'm on Lin, when I, that I went on to Lynn's side, I actually got onto Montez's bad side. Yeah, sometimes I just want to stay out of it, but instead I just find myself in the, threw myself under the bus, and I'm, a, and I'm actually rolling the dice. Oh. 
Normally, I just like playing video games. In real life, I just like playing video games. Just saying. Sometimes I just want... I just hope that everyone will just get along. So I don't have to be put under the bus. Everyone's bus. But then, I, but then they just won't let me have a break. And right now, I just wish I just wanted a coffee break. Most likely. So, yee-haw! So... Don't you do it. Don't you dare. And ooh. So, so there's my, so that was my first victory in War Thunder. Sometimes I just feel like luck is on my side, and I kind of like that. Some. God damn it. I mean, uh, excuse me for a moment. Excuse my mouth. However, I kind of like playing video games just because, well, it's quite fun to play them. And believe me, it's it's the best I I do. And, and now I'm going to go do the tank battles. And what I really like about tanks is the arm, is the firepower, is that the Germans and, and Americans actually, never mind. Going to the army. I'm going to go, I'm going to be playing... Some of the best German tanks. And I know about World War II history anyway, so... Don't get me wrong. It's gruesome. To say the least. If you want me gruesome, I actually don't want to talk about it. Because most some of my blood is German. Well, half... Well, most is Scottish. And Irish. And it's quite make me feel like I'm being an idiot. I'm actually face palming at the fact that why do I even mention these? However, anyway, back to topic about the situation between Lynn and Christine. I'm actually beginning to side with Christine more. And sometimes I just wanted to expose both, but because of the limited, because of the limits I had, I just can't. It felt like I I just started another war that no one actually wanted to care. Brian and Emily do not realize what's going on until. It's until they actually saw in the in the Shadow of Clan group chat. Now, I did want to surrender to Christine, but the only way the only way I can do that is to block Lynn entirely and just find out what her reaction is. And if she didn't take it well, well, that's on her. 
that's fully on her. I hope they I hope everyone understands that I made the right choice. Just ditching Lynn for someone else. To be something that Right now, I just wish I just wish everything I wish Lynn would just stop being the dead horse, stop beating the trolls, and move on with her real life. Like spending time with her family and friends. And wishing that, that hopefully that social media would be a better place until place. But no. I had to just sit there and actually talk her out of things that I don't want her to say. And this is why this is why this is why I play video games. To ease the stress I had. Oh no 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 no! Phew. Anyways, I hope you guys understand what I mean by my video rate game rage. Well, well, don't get me wrong. However, I just don't feel like being on Lin's side anymore because it's not okay for me to do it. I just feel like I'm demoralized and out of line. Starting to question why I sided with her in the first place. Right now, I just wanted this entire drama to end and just leave her be. I have you now. Never mind. Just let it be. However, I still love gameplays like this. I still love posting gameplays like these. It just keeps me from going into full on rage. Thinking about thinking about Lynn actually makes me feel like I'm getting angrier at her by the minute. So I decided to cut ties with her. Calling tactical strike on here. Nope. Back to the game. So what I'm doing here is trying to flank the enemy team and trying to call an artillery strike on the on the now red capture base point. But realizing that I can't, I decide to move on with my teammates. And speaking of which, World Wars, I've heard that about there means about World War Three. Which is something that I that really really baffles me the most. No 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 no. Wait, did it miss? Oh no! Oh. I better get out of there. Everyone, get out of the artillery zone. Yeah. Oh no, we're actually losing the battle. And Lynn has actually lost, already lost. So what she actually did was beating a dead horse. I just want her to stop. It's not worth it. But instead she just pushed me to... I just don't want to say it. It just hurts me the least. Right now, I can tell that the enemy is about to flank. So I'm going to counter flank. Now, everyone doesn't know that in this battle, you, there isn't, it's like fighting for the, it's like the 
Battle of Verdun, according, according to my knowledge. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. Can we tank? Waiting for him to come. Oh, I gotta get out of there. There's a shot. And I just can't attack capture point. Artillery and hide behind this rock. Yeah, try and hit me from here, buddy. And now I just got crappy control. response so I'm just going to deal with it anyways and I just and when I realized what Lynn had done after watching Christine's videos at least multiple times I just finally got it through my head it's nothing but a good it's it's not a good idea to just join her side Lynn's side it it's also a stupid idea don't get me wrong. And realizing what she had done, she just made herself look like a toxic person to me. And also made me feel like I should have just left, ended my friendship with her. And tell her that she's no longer an ally. An ally, and a, she's no longer my friend. I just wanted to just li leave. She made me feel like I, just sh I should have just left left her be, for Christ's sake. And sometimes I just feel like she isn't worth it. Right now I'm trying to fix the right now I'm trying to fix the entire control so that way I can actually get used to And and right now, when I realize what what Lynn was doing, I decided to cut ties and just wait for the entire thing to just blow the hell over. And when I found out. What happened, or 
support what she was saying, I decided to just quit being on her bandwagon and just look for something else to do. Until until either people realized that Oh, we switched sides? Well why am I not surprised? Mm -hmm. I'm just like what? and I'm just trying to get some rest, see if I can do about it. Well, according to me there's nothing I can do about it except to just instead of just Because, and for real, and actually, I did not do anything to help Lynn for real. I'm no help to her anymore. So... Yeah. Two... Control point. Control space. Control space. Right now I'm actually not saying what I really want the I'm right now I'm just saying the mouse button so I can fix the controls. So that way I can actually get the, well, that way I can actually get what, Right now I'm just checking for stuff. And done. Now I can get better control. Being on doing ground forces is actually a lot harder than aircraft. Back to topic. So anyways, there is I hopefully there is a silver. Uh, I hope there is peace between Lynn and Christine. I'm just not sure. I don't know. And and when I assumed that she's going to be inactive, period, I just assumed she actually died on. She died, or just assumed that she passed away. But realizing she's passed away on social media. And, Mon and I just don't appreciate the fact that Montez is calling me out for being a total liar. It's just an idiotic thing to do. Until I realized... So, two can... Well, I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't know what it, what is up with your anger. But taking your anger out by yelling at me isn't going to help this, help this. All it's going to do is just... Make things a little more like more or less likely a bad idea because one, yelling at me would not talk would not let me. One yelling at me just like Lin yelled at you actually hurted. Actually made my feelings a bit hurt. And and most importantly, and also I it's also rude to yell at people as well. So there, that's my that's my point. And yelling, actually making it look like, and yelling like a drill sergeant isn't gonna help. I tried that with Lin with Lewis, and and he never gets the fucking hint that get a hint that that there are some people who just has a toxicity level of a hundred. Hey, it's my way of saying, it's like giving me a quick saying of F you in most cases. 
and sometimes I just want my opinion to be heard. I just want it to be heard, and I'm just going to let Montez think, think it over, and if he doesn't, well, it's on him. I will just leave him be for, for, for in a favor of Skillet and Christine's favor. And it shows that I can be easily manipulative. Manipulated. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And... And... That's... Would be a great idea. Oh... I keep... Why do I keep getting on top of Stupid, stupid, stupid. Anyways... I kind of feel like I'm the bigger idiot to Montez. Don't know why. But sometimes I just realized... This is why I shouldn't have friends in the first place. But still... This utter bollocks. However, there are some things I can do... To help lead Montez and just get out of the situations... That that Lynn put me through. So yeah. Also, the main reason why I don't feel like dealing with with this with Lynn right now is because one, I just gotten out of a conflict with with others. Sometimes I just, I just feel like maybe it isn't worth it talking to. I think it might be wise that I just leave Lynn and, and Christine to fight alone, or I just leave Lynn alone to fight for fend for herself. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I do. Don't know why, but still. And, 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 I do realize that getting out of neutrality is the stupidest thing that has ever occurred to me. It's just stupid and trusting the wrong side. I just feel like my computer should be destroyed. Or why I should have just stopped checking with Christine in the first place. Come on. Right now, I'm actually hoping that there would be a better future between the two, and and that I hope not. Hope nothing can actually hurt me anymore. Right now, I'm already. Right now, I'm already suffering enough. Actually, being a dead, being beaten a dead, having a dead horse. Now I got to have loose ends and trying to cut ties with just with, with I just don't want to. Thinking about it actually makes me feel like I should just puke. Oh. And sometimes I just wish sarcasm would just take its course. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully people will just leave, leave the, hopefully people will just leave everybody alone. And that way I don't have to deal with it. I just want the entire drama over and rid. I just wanted this entire fiasco to be over, over with. 
or just wanted to get people to just get over over it. Well, according to others, they'll just say this. Not gonna happen, buddy. I just look down and just go. I'd rather be left alone than just. And sometimes I just have this saying, "Don't tread on me." More or less. My moral of the story is don't side with people and I just learned my lesson and I just want and I just left Lynn's side but everyone still thinks I'm on her side so please someone please all I'm begging is mercy I'm actually begging for mercy, but everyone's not giving me any mercy so far, so please, have mercy on me. Still. Hopefully, hopefully there will be a brighter future, but something tells me I shouldn't have a brighter future. And so I just want to live in hell. Like this. And... And now the reason why I like I like tanks is because well well you might get the picture in a moment. And normally I'm a very forgiving person, but when but when my patience is actually through the roof or when my patience is actually gone, I just don't lack I just get rid of it entirely. Or just Let's just say, example, someone calls me a bad name and then apologizes. I can forgive people easily as one, two, three, or a snap. But sometimes when I'm very angry and not in the mood, I just tell them to stay the hell away from me, or just don't reply to me until until further until I actually fully calm down, or just tell or just don't forgive them until. Until a certain month, or I go, I'm not gonna reply, or something. It's something, it's a knack I have. Right now, I'm just trying to move to ditch Lynn and move on by playing this gameplay, doing this gameplay. That I'm currently doing. The intense gameplay in history. Taking aim. Taking aim. Where did he go? Wait. Alright, it's safe. 
And I'm stuck. Oh. Now, what I'm doing in gameplay is flanking the enemy. Yeah. You see, I'm pretty much like a tactical person. What I mean by tactic, well, I mean I actually think about strategy in this game. All it takes is a little patience. And I have plenty of patience. Right now, I just think Monta probably needs some time alone before before he can before I can actually do anything. And sometimes I just feel like maybe attacking him isn't worth it. Maybe I have to just drop my weapon my my words and just go somewhere else. Just like I'm doing with Lin right. Just like how Lin should focus on something else. So, so yeah, the enemy team is winning, I mean, the allied team is winning, because we just got a, a good tactic, and I'm trying not to lose control, and not bump, and I just bump into an enemy player, uh, player, crap, well, anyways, what I'm trying to say is, maybe it's best I should just leave Montez alone, and, and wait until, and wait until people actually understand that that what they're doing is actually trying trying to make their opinions heard is probably the best thing to do. But I'm waiting for them to make a make the video to get on with the video already already. So hopefully I can actually let let her get it over with so I can actually stop beating the dead horse. Well, clearly, which is obviously not a good idea for me to be the de dead horse. Be dead horse. That's something like that. Some people think I'm actually dumb enough to actually do it, but I'm not that stu stupid. And here, the enemy team are trying their best to defend their beloved their point, their capture point. I wonder what the enemy team are doing over there. And clearly, we do have a lot of vehicles. Looking for a snake. Come on. <sighs> Looks like I better go further. Anyways, I'm I'm really wishing I could do. Hopefully, everyone will just get along, get over this, and just... And I'm actually going to be trying to be a little more... Honey. If Christine actually makes a video about me, I'm gonna go, thanks for the... Thanks for the, for the exposing. Sometimes I just feel like I should be positive about life. Instead of just beating the dead horse, calling the cow black, etc. I just realized it isn't worth it. It isn't wrong. You just, I just don't do it. Let me take a spot. I'm ready to take aim. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go in full, full metal, up, out of bounds, and stop right there, and fire. Boom. Victory. Anyways, I quite, I kind of feel like I'm actually doing more harm than good to Lynn, so I decided to leave her cause as well, for that reason as well. But, something tells me that maybe both Lynn and Christine have similar thing. You know what? Screw, screw what I said about it. Oh, the comparison. What I'm really trying to figure out is, why the hell would she want to do something like that? Would she do something like that? 
surely it's not it's not in anyone's nature I mean I don't think Lynn is a good person to me the question is and you guys are asking Cody why the hell were you join her side in the first place when you realize when you finally realized well the answer um six cents I'm guessing the answer is six cents and I do have six cents according to my knowledge something tells me well a little bird told me about it a little bird told me about Lynn's about Lynn being a, a an a-hole and when I realized what's going on it was too late to actually do anything about it so you're welcome eh. Eh. I don't have any ideas of what the hell or why the hell would she do it would she betray Christine would she betrayed Montez why would would she drive Montez away from her it's something that I really wish I want to find out. But not realizing that the consequences are devastating. And according to my knowledge, the probability of Montez returning to Lynn is one is probability is twenty twenty to one. According to my logistics. I just don't feel like exposing people because, well, for the three main reasons. One, it's not worth it. Two, I just don't like exposing people. When I do, I just go blah, 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 Exposing this, exposing that. Expose someone this, expose someone that. I'm just sick and tired of Lynn giving me orders now and then. I don't want to be the yes yes ma'am no ma'am soldier that Christine had painted me so I decided to leave the bandwagon because of because of this and I'm looking for inspiration for artwork as well so try not to get me wrong but I kind of feel like calling I just wish Lynn would just call me out expose me and just leave me alone. I just wanted to leave Lynn alone. Lynn and Montez alone. Everyone alone. However, I still feel regret for yelling at Montez, yelling at him, screaming at him, all that type of crap. Because one, the two main, one of the two main reasons. Well, well, actually, it's just two. One, it's not worth it. Two. It makes me feel like I'm I'm a moron, with an ugly face, with a with a with a dumb attitude, with a with a dumb with a dumb shit I've done. Forgive my forgive my language. And also also for stuff that I actually and also for stuff that actually. Like comparing these, comparing this to World War One, Civil War, Cold War, or blah blah blah, and I've had enough of it. So, therefore, I think it's best that I just leave the dead horse alone and just and just want to expose Lynn for being a for being a for being an ignorant person. Person and for interrupting my, for being a waste of time and money towards me. Well, not money, resources. I just want to leave her alone and saying how bad, how bad she is towards Christine, and and how good Christine was until until Lynn 
asked me to get screenshots. And that's for a point where I should stop talking about it because one, it's not my it's not my war. Two, I should just focus on someone else's war. And three and three, I just don't feel like it. I'm not into that stuff anymore. Sure I had done it before, but you see me doing it again? Nope. Just trying to be peaceful. I just wanted to settle things like like full grown adults. I mean I could just talk about it out loud, but because of what happened and the censorship I had to deal with Something tells me I really, really shouldn't. It just hurts. It just hurts my reputation with being bad and the stress I have to go through to get through. My and sometimes I just wish that everyone would just get along and just try not, not to make. Playing, as you can see, I am playing a World War One game. I mean, something that's kind of like World War Two. Just World War One just had a baby. World War One and the UN, and World War One just had a baby. A baby war called World War Two. Makes sense, huh? Anyways. What I'm about to do is outflank the entire enemy team and just well <laughs> that was a... well like I well like I'm about to say about convincing Mentes, it's a bad idea like I mean I could just tell people not to shoot because I am just a little bird. A little bird. And according to my knowledge, it's like as if World War One and World War Two had just had a little baby. It's like this and kinda like the Civil War and the Revolutionary War just had a little baby as well. However, something keeps telling me that I should just get off Stay off the bandwagon entirely. And I'm like... And when when I heard what Lynn was yelling at Montez for, I'm like, What the hell? You can't, you can't just yell at people for that. I mean... I mean, yeah, Montez may be... Maybe a bit numb, but... But... I do realize, like, he's actually a pretty good guy. I just wish he would just see that. That... I'm just trying to figure out what's going on and what what I could try to I just don't feel like it. I mean, sure I could be sure I can be a bit of an asshole at some point or at some times or all the time when when my family gets in a sour mood. But I see myself as a person who has their own doubts. And right now I'm actually feel like I'm I'm trying to actually stay off people's bad side while trying to be on everyone's good side getting them in a cheery mood. And my regret my own regrets are actually me saying I kinda regret being Lynn's friend at the moment. Because that's what she is, a toxic person. And and she really did add me for a fool.
now, I'm actually getting a bit salty about the victory. Normally, I just... However, something tells me that I should just let Montez figure something out. And, and that I actually cut ties and realize that I actually cut ties with Lynn before anything can be said and done. So, yeah. In the meantime, though, I actually wanted to leave Lynn's side and actually go... What the hell is going on? I'm actually, like, someone who actually doesn't want to be in that position anymore. And also, sometimes I just feel like I should just do a joke just to shoot people on. People up. Like, and so it's Russia. Dead horse beats you. Like, it's like, when I, when I decided with Lynn, it feels like the entire dead horse was beating the shit out of me. Mentally. Like, like, not literally, not physically or anything like that, but figuratively. There's a difference. There's a complete difference between physical, phys physically, and figuratively. But there's a major difference. And we, we all of us are humans too. And as stated, all of us are human. All of us are humans. But normally, but we do have a few mental hiccups. Hiccups were... Uh, I just... Every time I talk about it, it makes me feel like I just want to throw up even more. More or less, I just... I just hope that everyone just gets along and tries to figure out what the hell and everyone just figure re realizes why the hell people just do something like that but in most cases I just don't care about it or made me realize that I just should stop caring and, and it's also the main reason why I shouldn't care at all And when I don't care, it just... Sometimes just talking to Montez isn't worth it, and I should just let him be. Or just... Or just stay away from him until... When Montez told me to leave him alone, I just realized... Maybe I should just turn back. And I did, but but the damage was already said and done. But it's easier said than done, because now not only I gotta deal with, not only I gotta calm everyone down on Christine's side, I gotta actually deal with Lynn's side. It's kind of like being in World War One, except it's not World War One when it's when it comes to actually fighting. It just hurts. Everyone's getting all butt hurt over, over many things, and sometimes when I get involved, I actually wish I could just expose both sides or just tell both sides what's going on with each other. But no, I had to actually do the most stupidest thing I've ever done in the first place: sending screenshots to the enemy. It just. Mm, I just wish I should have just... Sometimes it makes me feel like I should just shut the hell up and just deal with it. And just take the full bite. And take the full bite of justice. Period. Right now, I'm just not in a mood to actually speak, speak up against both sides. I mean, I do support what Christine has, but right now I'm just expecting the outcome, or expecting her video to come out, but something tells me I should just be more, I should be patient and just, and just 
take time to realize what I'm trying, what I'm actually doing. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna be chat. I'm just going to pretend I didn't do that. Right now, I just hope that people would just pretend they didn't hear it and just tell their comrades about it. Not that I consider everyone as a comrade, but when something bad goes wrong, it just hurts. It just hurts. It just hurts so much. It makes me feel like I want to move to another country or another state, just to think about it. If I was on Lynn's exposing list, Lynn's chopping block for being exposed, I'd just get out of town, or just change my name to something that's much more, that's much more, uh, stupid. But sometimes, I just don't support trolling. Or I just don't support Lynn anymore because of the abuse and the dead horse she keeps putting on us to just beat. It's like I'm being a dead, a dead, um, it's like I keep, it's like I'm keep shooting a dead tank. When people say it's already dead, I just realize, just go away. I hope the trolls just leave Lynn alone and Lynn. When I realize what's going on, I decide that, well, if Lynn's toxic, then is she making me toxic? The answer. Yes, she is. And realizing she played me for a fool, it's a dumb idea to trust someone. Come on. Meantime, though, I'd rather sing it's a long way to Tipperary to everyone rather than just join sides. It's a long way to Tipperary. I'll, I'll stop. You can tell that I'm very calm in this situation because, in most situations, like the situation right around. When Mantis is screaming at me, it's because until the point I lost my cool, it's so heated. Some of us have something that most of us don't. It's probably shame. When I feel, and I'm also wracked with shame at that point. So I'm going to avoid men at all costs. I'm trying to figure out should, is. Is actually being part of her bandwagon worth it, or is it, or is it something that is like I made a deal with the devil? The answer, well, sometimes I just don't feel like it's worth the idea. Oh, hello there. And more likely, it probably isn't the best idea since since we're all the tanks. I'm about to get shot. Uh, buddy, I think you should move. And I'm about to get hit by artillery. So, anyways, I hope I hope we can just forgive each other and. None of us had to go through what we experienced. Come on. Let's 
so right now I'm actually about to do something very drastic here. Eat lead scum! And yes. And yes, I do like playing that, anything that's tank related. So yeah. And I got sent by a tank, a tank destroyer. Nice. Anyways, I'm also getting the sense that being a dead horse is probably not worth it. And sometimes I just feel like I should express my regrets to everyone. I regret, and I have to say this here and now, so I regret being on Linda Rosa's bandwagon and being, and, and that what I've done is wrong and I should stop taking sides from Lin's side. And that I should just trust Christine and Montez. But, and hopefully everything will just go back the way it was. And I am praying to God as we speak. But because of what I did, I highly doubt that everyone. Excuse me, moment. So yeah. And I hope people know that this gameplay would probably be the reason why. Would probably know what what my true nature is. And I should just stick to playing video games all day. Right now I'm helping my enemy push to, to capture point Alpha, which don't which is the only capture point in the, in the map. You alright, buddy? You're thinking I'm freaking out. I'm looking for another way to flank the enemy without being caught by other other tanks. So. And and I achieved perfect victory because the capture point because the conquest has been completed. And I didn't destroy any ground units, but at least I'm at least I did survive the entirety of the battles. Right now I'm actually Right now I'm actually feeling like that I should have Right now I just feel like I Probably should just quit, quit Lin's side and just stay off for a long time. And hopefully everyone would just realize that, actually, wait a minute, actually, now that I think about it, I actually kind of regret being on Lin's side at the moment. And that what, sh what Lin did was actually despicable. Lin is disgraceful, disgusting, and despicable, according to my knowledge. However, I just realized that it was the biggest mistake of my life since the invention of the light bulb. <laughs> but practically, I didn't exist at that time, so why do I do not make sense? Well, 
don't even know why. However, however, I just have the balls of steel for some odd reason. Sometimes I just go, keep calm and carry on. I'm like the keep calm and carry on guy of the British. The sun never sets on the Empire. Right now, I'm actually playing a domination campaign called the Ash River. It's not a campaign, it's actually a random battle. So, here, I'm about to capture... Well, since I'm near... near... near Charlie, I'm probably gonna go cap it. And then go to Bravo, and then Alpha. Or... or... or the other way around. Going to Alpha... going to Alpha first, then find... and then flank to Beta, and then to Charlie. Charlie, as a tank destroyer, or as a medium tank. What Lynn said, if Lynn was, if Lynn was talking to the trolls, she's probably, she's technically feeding them in her last, in her, in the video that Christine made. And, and probably feeding trolls in her current, in, in the video she refused to take down. So, yeah. Calling out this piece of shit probably isn't the right thing to do, but something tells me that I should just keep my mouth shut at all times. And and it's probably gonna be the last thing I wanted to do. No, 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 no. But sometimes I just wish. Learn to take the right precautions, if you know what I mean. But most likely, I just pretend that the trolls aren't there, or pretend that the trolls aren't around anymore. Get in. There's... Sometimes I just wanted to go and do something fun for once. There's a minor misunderstanding between me and Christine, so... Right now, the battle just turned sour at the moment, so... So, I'm going as a of 38. Anyways, back to topic. So... Most likely, I'm just trying my best to realize that maybe, maybe I should need some time to think before I choose Hopefully, hopefully I'll be forgiven, but sadly, I have to wait until the entirety of the day. Oh no. Oh. Anyways, there is something that I had never taken into account. My, my RP family and my RP life. Some people think I'm actually trying to, um do something about it, but I'm not, well, sadly I don't know what to expect from others. Do they expect me to apologize? Do they expect me to do something about it? I'm like, maybe I'll just let them talk, tell me about it. Explain what I should do. If they said nothing, then I don't know what to expect. I have you now. Come on. Peek out. Come on. I dare you. Right now, I'm actually. No, 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 no. 
And, well, now people can see why I'm a horrible at tanks. Well, sometimes I do. Anyways, so, um, about Montez, I, I still don't see him as a, I still don't see him as the person that Lynn, Lynn said about him. However, I still don't mean, I still don't want to talk about it as much. Because it kind of makes me feel like I'm just being the dead horse for no reason. Without the proper reason to. Sometimes it's just my natural... It's sometimes my natural thing to do. Just join a side and hope for the best. Yeah. Referring to my knowledge, when it comes to actually dealing with two sides, it's that that doesn't like people the most the most it's not actually the case and when I want to expose somebody everyone just beats me to it like oh they told me this they told me that Sometimes I just feel like that something is not in the nature. So I just wait until. So right now I'm just feeling like. I just feel like Lynn is being toxic and just plain, plain dumb when it comes to. Because what she's doing is actually being a moron to Christine. And I kind of feel like I should just put an end to it by actually leaving the bandwagon and going, You know what? I had had enough. I'm, I'm, I, I am out. I don't want to speak to Lynn. Well, you get the idea. Well, you probably want to get the idea of me saying, I'd had enough, I'm leaving Lynn, Lynn's side for good, and staying out of her side until either, until she realizes that, that this isn't the Grail Republic way, or it isn't the, it, it isn't the right way to do things, it isn't, it is wrong, it isn't wrong, you just don't do it. Well, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, it's something, it's something that just isn't the nature I see Montez as a perfect person who, who had the right thing to do. Well, secretly. I secretly hate Lynn more and more. Because, well, the reason why I kept quiet about it is because I have a fear of being yelled at the same way she yelled at Montez. Again, I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just telling people what I, what I fear. And Lynn repeating what Montez told me, and and Lynn saying, and Lynn telling me stuff, is not my intention. It isn't. I kind of feel like I'm being betrayed by Lynn when she promised me to talk. When she promised me something that I just want. To do, she just straight up lied to me about about it about promises, and those promises are actually broken. My morale is broken, already broken, and I'm starting to hate every holiday, even Christmas. Even though it was my favorite holiday, I just lost all sense in celebrating because because. I've been in a depressing mood ever since, ever since Rosa Hedgecat cheated on me with another person. It just hurts. And I 
feel like I want to go to war with somebody. But right now, I don't do it. Right now, I just don't want to. I just like talking. I just want to. I'm all talk. I'm all. I'm all. I'm all shouting and no guns. Right now, I'm all. I'm all. I'm all bark, no bite type of person. So you, you guys can just rant me on me about it. About that. Saying, wait, why can't you, why can't you just, why can't you just attack them? Well, three main reasons. One, I'm all scream, no bite. For all scream, no shooting. I'm all, I'm all yelling, and I'm all bark, and no shoot. You get the idea. I'm all horns, no, no scream, no fighting. And I'm not that fighting person. It's a dumb idea. And keep shooting me and see what you get. Hmm. So yeah. I'm mostly just empty threat. I'm all I I'm all bark no bite type of person. Meaning I'm all I'm all I'm all empty, no gun. I'm all I'm all tough but no gun type of person. Or whatever it is. And I'm technically harmless in real life. But in in social media, I'm all harm and no. According to everyone, when you're actually doing when when you're actually trolling somebody, you're actually hurting the person that's actually behind a, another person behind a computer who is much, much younger and smaller than you. Realizing that when you're an adult, you're actually more capable of hurting somebody that's much younger. But it can also be said to the opposite: the adult can actually hurt someone who's a lot younger than a lot younger. I'm a year younger than Montez until March 9th. My birthday's in March, and I'm about to turn 20 in like next month on the 9th. And right now, I kind of feel like Lynn has the IQ of a Crayola crayon, as I put it. Montez has the IQ of a has the IQ of a book, like an actual an actual book has, or the IQ of a pencil, meaning he's really smart enough to actually know what what yes and no and all that stuff means. And sometimes I just like, I just take an interest in Montez and look at him as a potential son I can achieve. Right now I'm actually fighting a battle. Right now. So, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Um, oh yes. I kind of see Montez as a nice person, but Lynn keeps painting him villain. The villain of the entire, of the entire, of the entire thing. But realizing what, but after realizing what Lynn's actually doing she actually wanted Montez to give him give her another chance and and when she asked me to tell Montez to come back I'm actually like mm, maybe I kind of realized that I should just said no and just leave her to deal with this alone it's kind of like we don't even know it's kind of like, I, I don't care anymore. I lost all care for, for Lynn. I decided to just jump off the bad wagon and just fall into a ditch. 
last time she tried to convince me to get back on her side, she ends up in a she ends up in the same position that I'm going to be in that I'm currently in. And I'm gonna tell and I'm gonna tell everyone this. I don't feel I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. And you're not gonna force my hand. And you're about to force my entire hand. It's it's something that I do not want to tolerate. And to everyone, I'm like the bully in the yard. Being all all tough. All tough and no and no punches. Clearly, I just don't like, I just don't feel like talking about, about other people, or telling a bunch of rude stuff about other people in someone else's favor. It just isn't right for, it just isn't the best for me. And exposing people is not my strong suit either. My strong, my strong thing either, or isn't. My strong for isn't it just isn't my forte. Even if I do, I'd probably get shut up. I'd probably get being told to shut up or just get yelled at for not for not doing something about it. It just hurts my not it just hurts. It feels like I'm actually it feels like I'm actually adding salt to the insult to injury to myself not to mention but not to mention that actually that I actually suck at actually trying to figure out what's going on and, and it still actually isn't my strongest it it isn't strong enough to actually Whenever, whenever I, whenever I see someone roasting each other, people roasting each other, or just bashing each other as if, as if they're just in the way, or just something like that, it just isn't nice for them. Sometimes I just want everyone to just listen to me, and feel like I should just leave Lynn, Lynn, Lynn alone and just leave her and just leave her to just do something else or just I'm I'm actually literally yell I'm actually physically yelling at her telling her to just for God's sake Lynn shut up about Christine and Montez I don't want to hear anymore or feel like I just want to assassinate somebody but I'm not that type of person to to do it I just feel, I just want to just call people out for being stupid, stupid, idiotic, stupid, pathetic, and most importantly, out obsolete. Because what they're doing is obsolete. We could just settle this like a common adults, but like most millennials, or, mo or like most trolls, they, it just isn't going to happen. I just threw everything out the window. I lost all self-respect for Lynn and respect for Lynn entirely now. And I want to state this point. I just want to make my point clear to everyone. If anyone still thinks I'm loyal to Lynn, fuck, screw them, screw Lynn. Or, you know what, forget what I just said. What Lynn wanted me to do was horrendous, and I just don't want to, because 
One, I know better. I should have known better. And two, I know what's what it's like in Lin shoes on Google Plus since since I am since I was ten, nine to ten years old. When I when I when I got when I turned ten, I had Google Plus on in twenty ten. That was the first time I had Google Plus. Was I get my when I got my own tablet, tablet, and when I when I got on, it was like it was like I opened up an entire new universe. Many things to do, many things to see. The first time I did was when I used my Google account. My it was my first time using a Google account. And sometimes I just feel like I just opened myself a new window. And sometimes I just liked having electronics. And that is when the, tr the drama started. I don't know what the internet was like. I was new to the internet at the time. And ever since... Don't go past you, my friend, are in deep shit. Boom. Like, anyways, back to what I was saying earlier. Sometimes I just hope I just hope that many I just hope that everyone can teach me the ways of the internet. Without realizing, without realizing that in hindsight, I was betrayed and backstabbed so many times. Realizing what I've done, realizing what I did, I should have meant that I shouldn't have gone to Google in the first place. And when I, and when I, and when I, and when I realized it was too late, I decided to just stay on to Google Plus. And the Google Plus shut down in twenty, in twenty, in twenty nineteen to twenty eighteen. That was like a, a knife went right through my chest, like a sword went right through my chest. Or get from behind. When I realized it was just socialism calling. Still, back to top of what I was going to say. And, and throughout the entirety of the decade, and throughout the entirety of the decade, I actually feel like that maybe it was a, maybe it was a lesson to learn, but I didn't learn the second lesson after that. I didn't learn the second lesson after that. And realizing that not learning this, learning my from my mistakes, is the biggest mistake I have made since the his since since Trump was elected or got into office. When I realized what happened, what's going on. I just when when someone when people told me that about something bad happening when when something bad happens I, it's like a big sword went right through my chest or as if someone whacked me in the nut kicked me in the stomach with a with a sled whacked me in the stomach with a sledgehammer or kicked me in the nuts with a with a or shot me in the nuts with a 12 gauge. It felt like I felt this mental pain that went through me, and as a result, I was 
emotionally traumatized. So, yeah. Anyways. While I'm actually... Anyways, let's focus up to, to up until today. The reason why my reputation is ruined is because of stealthy. But I blame Dantes blindly for not realizing what, what's going on. That was my mistake, that part. And Brad didn't know it. Emily didn't know it. Everyone didn't know it at that time. So, according to my knowledge, it was a one big misunderstanding that no one wish that everyone wishes that I shouldn't do. However, when 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 the, when the time came, it was already it was already the last straw. When I realized what I had done. I thought about. about condemning damning myself to hell where the devil actually lived to the devil and it's and I didn't actually learn from the mistake not believing in in both sides is actually more my and sometimes I just wish it would just go away Anyway, as I was saying, it's not fun that people would actually go on and off on both sides like that. Sometimes we, we probably have no reason. And anyway. Anyway, I decided to stop believing nonsense from, from both sides. And, and I now begin to believe Christine's side of the story, but there's something else that I should take into consideration. It's, it's something that, that most of us would, would have lacked. Pure guilt. And to be honest, I have full guilt. I have guilt. I feel guilty for trusting Lynn in the first place, and I'm still regretting it to, to this point of the week, this day of the week. And sometimes I just wish, I just wish that there would be peace and happiness among me and everyone else. But sadly, because of what I've done, it would be, the chances are 2020 to 1. And I'm using this year to 1 because... It's actually very slim. The 2020 part would actually be a no, while the one would be a yes. So that's what that's what my statement would be. Uh, this is Koei G signing off.